How's it going guys? My name's Kevil and welcome back to Craftadia. We are actually starting our episode today with an arrow in our knee. Very Skyrim of us. But we are here on the world download and I actually forgot that mobs are an issue when you're not on the Craftadia server. The mob spawning has been nuts. And the creepers. I forgot that creepers can destroy builds because I've been on a, you know, lightly modded server for so long. But here we are. Uh, I went to start the recording of today's episode up here on this uh, part of the castle wall and a creeper blew up. So I'm going to have to come through and fix this. But we are here. Let's grab that XP on the way down. We are finishing our build here on the world download today and it's so nice to be back it's been like two weeks since i've seen this base and this is going to be our last few days spent in this base so it's been a really really good ride i hope everybody has enjoyed seeing the build and did i just hear fan <sighs> phantoms can spawn again oh no Okay, that's going to be an issue. I need to go sleep. But yeah, it is it is really really good to be back in this world and I'm I'm going to be sad. Oh jeez. I'm going to be sad to have this world be over. So, I'm going to do my best to give it a very good send-off. So, to start off with, I definitely need to free this horse. Hello. This horse, I know for a fact, has been trapped since the very beginning of the season. For a year and a half, this horse has sat in a hole. There's two. For a year and a half, these two horses have sat in a hole. Because I know the, the previous, somebody had this trunk claimed and had these horses down here. Their name was like Pony Girl something. Very, very cute that uh, she trapped some horses and then never got online again. So we are going to go ahead and bring these horses. Do they follow wheat? Maybe not. I don't under actually understand horses. So I'm going to go grab two leads and we're going to bring these guys into Castle Black. Since they have been trapped in a hole for so long, let's give them a nice place to live. I just realized I forgot to turn back on the time lapse while I was doing this area right here. But I kind of did the gradient of the snow turning into the regular land, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I definitely like it. And man, what is legging me so bad? <laughs> definitely something feels very leggy. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress we have so far. So next, I need to tackle this border right here. So we're going to come through and do a time lapse of converting this to look like a kind of natural uh, shoreline. So we'll get to work on that right now.
All right, guys, I'm super, super happy with the progress we had. As you might have noticed, I did switch into creative mode. And hopefully you guys understand that I did this just to save time, uh, literally just to speed up this process. I do have every item I've used in this storage system. I just, I wanted to save time and be able to fly around and do it in creative mode. So that's what I did. But I'm really happy with the way this uh, little terraforming process turned out. I do need to come through and add some bone meal and, you know, give some extra life in here. Maybe plant a couple trees for saplings. Uh, Castle Black itself does not have much in the way of trees around it. So we're going to leave this kind of a barren landscape. But as, you know, the Castle Black build blends into the normal Minecraft generation, which is, you know, the idea, I do need to little bit more snow through here I think but yeah as we as we blend into you know other builds uh, I do want to throw up some foliage and everything and I did leave uh, this build pretty much untouched I don't remember who built this but I thought it was fine to leave it as is uh, because you know this is a server so many other people are playing on it and I did discover a base in here as you might have noticed I rescued the pets I think it was no, not here. It was, yeah, in here. Yeah, I, I discovered uh, an old base that I had no idea existed. All the time that I spent on the Craft Idea server, I never saw this. I, I didn't, I don't know when this was built or forgotten. So, yep, the pets are pulled out. I'm going to probably throw a lead on them if possible. I'm not sure if you can lead other people's pets or just push them into the castle but I am going to give them a little home. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. So we have our pathway that comes and let, let's, let's do it. So we hop down here, you know, you follow the pathway into or out of Castle Black and this will lead us to Tawa Town. So I kind of wanted to go for, you know, what used to be a really grand staircase with, you know, nice protective fencing has now, you know, been decaying. A lot of the wood has decayed. The maesters of Castle Black do keep these lanterns lit, but that is the only care for this uh, walkway that has been maintained. And then you go through the old tunnel which will bring you down and into the lovely lands outside of Tawa Town, uh, which is just full of flowers and very beautiful and so much different from the Castle Black. Tawa Town was an amazing build. Honestly, they did such a good job. The castle is amazing. And it's almost like uh, we're visiting a mini King's Landing south of the Castle Black. But yeah, I love it a lot. So I am really happy that our builds were so close to each other and we could connect them with this pathway. So yeah, beautiful. I love it. And we also did the terraforming over here. Uh, this was a super, super quick terraforming process. And I think it looks nice and natural. I'm really happy with it. I do hate the ugly this used to be a mountain this actually went up kind of high but i i tore part of it down to build my villager breeder and then somebody tore the rest of it down claimed it unclaimed it claimed it, unclaimed it this this was whoever was the last person to claim it is who built this but this pyramid's been here for a long time i don't remember who built it but i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave everything as is it does look kind of bad. I might go through and just turn everything that isn't sand into sand. And I think that'll help. It'll help it look a lot more less of an eyesore. So I'll go through and do that. But that kind of makes it so I'm running out of things that I really wanted to do. I think this is almost ready for the final uh, video shoot. And then I'll say goodbye to this build sadly forever. Ladies and gentlemen. Castle Black is done, and with it is my time for Craftadia Season 2. It is officially done, and I am happy with it. So, thank you everybody who has been a part of this season. I have enjoyed it a lot, and please hang out and enjoy these nice views of our build for this season, and I will see you guys in Season 3.